Today we're gonna be comparing new saddle, Upland saddle, which is the most expensive saddle in the game at the moment, $625, to the previous champion, saddles that most high level players are using and using for a reason, Nakodouches. And no, they're not using it because of the cool name, Nakodouches. I just like saying it. Let's begin with the price. As I've said, Upland is pretty expensive, $625, but it's all included. You don't have to spend money on on stirrups, you don't have to spend money on saddleback, you have it all. On the other hand, Nakodouches cost $512, but if you want to use it effectively, you have to buy stirrups for $144 and you have to buy saddleback. So on practice, Nakodouches will actually cost you more. But there's one thing I have to mention, unlike Nakodouches, Upland is not available for all the players, because you have to have Bounty Hunter Roll and Bounty Hunter Roll extension to buy it. And now before making actual tests, let's compare the stats. As you can see, in theory, Upland has huge advantage in stats, that's why you will probably see many clickbaits like new best saddle and stuff like that, but let's take a closer look. First of all, core drain rates. As you can see, Upland has an advantage in both core drain rates. For health, it's minus 24% versus minus 18%, and for stamina, it's minus 30% versus minus 20% for Nakadochas. But what does it mean on practice? Well, whether you're riding your horse or not, your horse slowly losing cores, and so you have to feed your horse occasionally to refill these cores. So basically, with Upland Saddle, you will have to feed your horse less often. Offense. It will be around 10% difference. Personally, I don't think it's that much of an advantage because I like feeding my horse. Next useless parameter is stamina region rate. It's 30% for Upland and 20% for Nakadouches. Why it's useless? Well, you see, it shows how fast your horse will regenerate stamina while you're not riding with acceleration. And I've tested in my previous video comparing Nakadoshis with minus 20% to Delgado Saddle, which has minus 32%. And on practice, difference in times that required to fully regenerate stamina was only 6.5%, which is not significant. But the biggest problem is, even if we will somehow run out of stamina completely, we will not wait until it will regenerate, because we would rather press the G button on PC or left stick on controller and regenerate some amount of stamina. There is an 18 seconds cooldown for this ability, but as you can see, I can effectively regenerate stamina on an expensive horse, even while I'm riding with acceleration. But again, with any horse on practice, we will probably never even run out of stamina. And that's because we have another parameter, stamina drain. Red. But before talking about this one, which is the most important in my opinion, here is something more I have to mention. There is a speed and acceleration difference between Nakodouches and all the other saddles. So for a Nakodouches we're getting 3 extra bars in speed and acceleration, while for Upland or let's say Delgado we are getting only 2 bars, so it's a 1 bar difference. And again, people who are comparing horses love to use the speed and acceleration parameter to proves that one horse is superior to the other horse, but on practice, one bar difference means only 0.7% in real speed difference. Trust me, I've been testing this a lot, links will be in the description. Anyway, in practice, one bar difference between the saddles will lead to one second difference if you're riding from Emerald Station to the Valentine Station. So it doesn't matter at all, but if you like to see cool stats and cool numbers, well, in this case, Nakodouches has an, a huge advantage for you. Okay, now let's talk about the most important parameter, stamina drain rate, and actually here the difference will be the most significant. To test this parameter, we will be riding from Emerald Station to Armadillo with full acceleration all the time without ever restoring stamina. And we will see how fast horse will run totally out of stamina with each saddle. Let's take a look at the numbers first. Upland has minus 65% in this parameter, which is the best 
best for all the saddles and Nacogdoches has only minus 35%. But with Nacogdoches we can use improved stirrups and add another minus 50% for stamina drain rate and we will have total minus 85% of stamina drain rate. And the difference between minus 85% and minus 65% on practice is huge and actually more than two times. Take a look, with Upland Saddle we were riding with full acceleration without stops or restoring stamina for 6 minutes and 17 seconds, which is a lot. Yeah, we couldn't get to Armadillo, but compare it to the other expensive saddle, Fletcher with the most expensive stirrup, the difference is pretty solid. And of course in all the tests I'm using the same horse with same bonding level and all the conditions are the same. But now let's take a look at the Nakadocha saddle with improved stirrups, and yeah, same place we're still riding. Armadillo we still have a lot of stamina, the difference is huge. With this saddle and expensive horse there is no need to bother about restoring stamina at all, we don't have to press left stick or G button ever. But to be honest we can say the same about the upland saddle. Because you know 6 minutes 17 seconds without stops or resting is a lot. That's what she said. Anyway, in this parameter on practice Nacogdoches has insane advantage, but it doesn't really matter in my opinion. Unlike with any other saddle, if you are using upland saddle there will be no need for you to restore stamina ever, just like with Nacogdoches. But still, just like with the speed, technically Nacogdoches has an advantage here. But there are a few more important advantages that Nacogdoches actually has over upland saddle. First of all, with upland saddle you cannot change saddle back. So you can carry only 5 outfits on your horse, while with Nacogdoches you can use different saddlebags and carry up to 7 outfits with you. For some people it matters a lot. Next advantage will also be important for players who cares about the looks. When buying Nacogdoches you can choose different colors and also you can customize this saddle by changing horns, blankets, bedrolls and stuff like that. While Upland saddle has only one possible look and color. On the other hand most of the high level players are using Nacogdoches saddle and everyone looks the same, so with Upland saddle you will still look original. So conclusion, Nacogdoches is still the best saddle, not because it's good, but because it's broken, there is no reason why the same saddle has the stamina drain rate parameter and the option to use improved stirrups at the same time, so they will stack up and give you insane decrease in its stamina drain rate. No other saddle is the same, and I think the reason why is simply because developers forgot to remove this parameter from the saddle when they allowed it for it to use stirrups. There is no other explanation, especially considering the price. It's actually cheaper than Delgado saddle, which is much worse on practice than Nacogdoches. But with that being said, I think that you still can use Upland saddle if you like how it looks, because on practice you will see barely no difference. Unless you really want to carry 7 outfits on your horse, you will be absolutely fine with the new saddle, and it's actually a little bit cheaper. So Upland is definitely not the new best saddle, it's not even as good as Nacogdoches, but on practice it's a good alternative to Nacogdoches if you don't want to look like everybody else. And that's my conclusion, let me know what do you think about the new saddle, whether you like it or not and whether you gonna buy it or not. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, до свидания.